are now listening to Lower Road Radio. Hey, welcome one and all to the number one podcast, winter, spring, and fall. Talking sports for the thrill of it all. Hey, talking life, but we're killing it all. Jason and Dan with the master plan. These are dangerous men with the mic in the hand. Huh? Four to five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Wild World Radio. Dad like, thug like, bright lights in sight. All right. What? Dad like, thug like, bright lights in sight. All right. Yeah. Dad like, thug like, bright lights in sight. All right. What? Four to five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Wild World Radio. Let's get it. What? At Tanagra, when the walls fell, this is Dan Owings coming at you another time for Lower Road Radio. My co-host, as always, Jason. Every once in a while, I think of like while the music's playing, I'm like, this is going to be an incredible way to launch the show. This is going to be so funny and witty. And then I say the introduction, and I completely forget yeah. what I was thinking. But that's okay. Jesse's here. All nicked up, baby. All nicked up, doing what he does. Preston is the czar of information. Stella is on the ones and zeros. And uh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I'm sitting here drinking out of my Yeti cup no. mm. because I'm not like those Stanley girls. I'm not. That's not, I'm not about that Stanley. Uh, it's Stanley there's Stan. de- definitive proof that Yeti is better. Yeah. Than did, Stanley. Did you see the thing where a guy's the truck fire caught on fire? Tell the story. Yeah. So a guy's truck caught on fire, and the firefighters there, and they put it out, and it's like completely burnt to the ground. And he reaches in after it's all cooled down and pulls out his Yeti and he shakes it and you can still hear the ice and mm. he's like, does a video and all the ice is still, it's not even just like a little bit, mm-hmm. it's all still there. Yeah. So Yeti got wind of this and who knows if this was set up, but they got wind of it and they sent the new, a brand new truck. Mm. I'm like, that is the best publicity. That's a great That's advertisement. Perfect. Yeah. Is there something with Stanley going around right now? Stanley mugs are like a big deal right now. It's like because I saw on Twitter everybody's talking about Stanley. I'm like, it's like what's white the big girls deal? who like Taylor Swift, right? Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, they're yeah. Swifties. Yeah, and, yeah, your son. I got to be careful. Yeah, Levi carries his around yeah. quite a bit. Uh, yeah, that checks out. I think no. I think Grace has <laughs> two, and I think he takes one of hers. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Grace likes is she a Swiftie? Taylor Swift or not. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Not talked about it. Mm-hmm. She doesn't talk to me very much. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you see the thing? There's a lady who asked for a stand because all women were asking for Stanleys for Christmas, and lady asked but, for but a stand. I'm sorry, but what started this? D- good marketing. That's it's it. just marketing. Yeah. It's just marketing, and it's They're specifically kind of like, women because yeah, I've got a yeah. Stanley like thermos, like yeah. a well, camp. That's, Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so there's uh, this lady who's asking for a Stanley for Christmas, and her husband got her one, and she's like doing this video, and she's crying, and it's one of the tall green. She's like, I want yeah. a big Stanley. That's and he the, got her a tall green I've got that one. It's with great. Cup on the top. Yeah, that's not what I was it's, talking it's, about. Because you got a little cup built into it. <laughs> that is the iconic uh, take fishing or hunting cup, yeah. right? Hiking, if you're going camping, fishing, fishing, yeah. any of that. fishing with the Stanley, yeah. what are we talking about? Come on. Nothing better than Yeti. Je- Jesse, you're kind of into fishing now, aren't I'm you? I'm starting to, yeah. 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 Jesse's the kind of guy that he does one thing one time, and then all <laughs> yeah. of a sudden, yeah. it's like, I was talking to Cody. I just was talking to Cody, uh, and you went fishing with Cody. Oh, by the way, s- sponsor of today's show, Daffy Down Industries. Is that the name of it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, Daffy Down. Go to daffydown.com and get all of their stuff. We get a cut of everything that they make. So um, use hashtag do Lower hashtag Road Radio. Lower Road Radio. And all of that will kick back to the show. <laughs> all of it. But seriously, it's good stuff. It is. It's good stuff. So go to DaffyDown.com. Yeah. And uh, anyway. If co- you don't get your code at checkout, yeah, just try it two or three more times. Yeah. Or yeah. Con- just do the contact <laughs> them or, you know, I don't know. Say, they promised me. They yeah. promised me. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I was talking to Cody and he said that you guys had gone fishing. Kind of kind of a last minute yeah. kind of thing didn't quite catch anything yep. and uh, he said yet you're ready to go again you were watching youtube videos all day. you're like yeah mm-hmm. so this is jesse he yeah. does one thing one time and all of a sudden he's just going to like all jump in, in completely I'm all in. i dip mm-hmm. my toe in for a second and then mm-hmm. i'm just in yeah, yeah this is it tell me your uh, story about joe joe mayo oh fishing. yeah joe mayo this friend is... of the show <laughs> no he's not you don't think so no joe never... joe or caleb if either one of you are watching um Right in. Tell us that you like the show. <laughs> Joe, uh, actually, this wasn't Joe. This was with Caleb. Oh, but I'm sorry. Joe and Caleb were brothers. Yeah. I, they, I assume, still are brothers. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, friends of mine. And uh, Caleb is, uh, at the time, he was an avid fisherman. This was, what, 25 years ago? Twenty. It's a good 25 years ago, yeah. I think. And uh, he says, uh, I'm, we're just friends. Yeah. Just bros. Just we're bros, bros being we're bros. We're in a band together. Uh. 
and I was in his band, and then I wasn't <laughs> mysteriously. Um, I don't know what happened, but I was in the band, yeah. and then they were going to do this tour thing, yeah. and they didn't. Somehow they lost my number. <laughs> anyway, um, they didn't need that tambourine player after mm-hmm. all. Yeah. So Caleb's like, "Hey, I'm going fishing. Do you want to come fishing with me?" And at the time, I was listening to a lot of Louis Armstrong, uh, and he's yeah. got a song called "Gone Fishing." You ain't working anymore. Gone fishing. <laughs> There's a sign upon your door. Anyway, so I thought, you know what? You left the row half done. You said working ain't no fun. You're gone fishing mm-hmm. <laughs> instead of just a wishing. That was Bing Crosby, by the way. Uh-huh. Anyway, um. I had to finish it. I'm sorry. I know you do. Um, so I, I was, just let it's like just let it go. <laughs> the, the worst thing you could do is stop it. It's Don't interrupt. Make it worse. It. You've just, got to start all over. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when a kid throws a fit. Like let's just he'll pass out. Yeah. And just let him let him do his thing. Yeah. Yeah. So um, anyway, Caleb <laughs> says <laughs> it's like a Christmas vacation. If he gets hold of your, <laughs> oh, you got a little Mississippi <laughs> leg hound in him, Clark. Uh, best advice is if he gets a hold of your leg, just let him finish. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, that's so, uh, anyway, so I'm, uh, so, so Caleb wants to go fishing. So I'm like, yeah, man, I, I said, he goes, do you like you? I said, well, I used to go with my grandpa when I was yeah. like little, I remember going fishing. So yeah, sure. I'd love to go fishing with you. So we go to some fishing hole out in Oklahoma and he takes me and he's like, here's your pole. He goes, this is the good spot. I'll yeah. let you have the good spot. He said, I'll go over there. I say, Hey man, thanks for the good spot. Appreciate that. <laughs> so he gives me the pole and you know, I don't know. I got worms or whatever. And I, I, okay. And then I look at the pole and you see, <laughs> so here's, I gave a key to the story earlier is that I used to go fishing with my grandpa. Okay. So the last time I went fishing, I was like seven. Yeah. Okay. And so I'm looking at the fishing pole he gives me, and I'm like, where's the button? <laughs> you, you see old Zebco 33s. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. There's no, um, I don't see the button, and I don't know what to do here. Because I know how to do the button. And, uh, and so <laughs> I was pretty good with the button. The I button, had come it on. We used to go out in the front yard at Lower Road, yeah, uh-huh. put just a sinker on, yeah. no, no hook, and we'd just be casting all day. I was good with the button. And I didn't know, and I'm I'm a grown but adult at this point. You know what I mean? Like I'm not twenty. I'm, I'm like nineteen or twenty, but still, I'm I'm out of the house. I'm you should paying, know better. At I'm this paying point. rent. Yeah. You think I would know? <laughs> I I just found out how babies are made. But <laughs> so anyway, I um I I I don't know what to do about this, and I think well, this is obviously some slick thing where the button is hidden somehow, or he gave me a one where the button fell off. So I was like, <laughs> it's broke. <laughs> I was like, man, sorry. Uh, where's the button on this thing? <laughs> and he laughed so hard. I think he fell in the pond. Like he, he would not stop laughing. He's like, those are for kids. And I was like, that's, I don't know. That's, that's my the only one I know. So, but then I learned that it's apparently yeah. there's a non button version <laughs> of a fishing pole. No one uses buttons anymore. Come on. I, I I'd love that. I don't. First of all, I have a button. Pole. I don't. What's the problem with the button? There's I think the button, the button is a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's us like fishers. We mm-hmm. don't use buttons. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's like the button is the is the equivalent of the Velcro shoe. Why wouldn't you want a Velcro shoe? I like a Velcro shoe. I love a Velcro shoe. You yeah. you love a Velcro shoe. I'm sure. Nope. <laughs> 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 I, do, I have a pair of boots that has a, a mm-hmm. crank on it. Mm. It tightened. You just twist it. Yeah. Remember the pump? Man, I thought I thought for sure if I got the pump, I would be able to dunk. I was, (laughs) I was beyond convinced. Yeah. That the pump was the only thing stopping a hundred and fifty pound five foot two Dan. Yeah. In seventh grade from dunking. Yeah. I thought that's it. It's pump it up. It's the pump. I'm gonna pump it up. But uh, never did have pumps. Did never you? did have pumps. So as a, a result, yeah. I never dunked. <laughs> uh, I've got some stuff. All right, let's do it. Let's Blob, get into Blob it. Blob Boy. Uh huh. These are one of our most frequent loyal listener. Loyal listener. Mm-hmm. If you could bring back one musician mm. or band back from the dead okay. for a live performance, mm-hmm. who would it be? Well, you know, it's interesting that Beatles song just recently came out. Are you familiar oh, yeah, with yeah, this? yeah. That's crazy. I know it's true. It's all because of you. Uh, it's a pretty good song. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, so it's a new Beatles song written by John Lennon that they've resurrected the song, not John Lennon, yeah. from the dead. Um, so that's kind of cool. I would go probably, so the question, give me the question exactly. Well, okay, yeah. So there's one little addition on the end of it. Caveat, as Caveat. they say. If you could bring back one musician or band uh-huh. back from the dead uh-huh. for a live performance, who would it be? Uh-huh. They would be in their prime. Okay. Not a zombie. Uh-huh. Or they could be a zombie. I don't care. Uh huh. Okay, I would want uh, the child version of Mozart when he was like nine years old. He <laughs> toured Europe with his father, mm-hmm. and was so amazing that kings and queens would have him come in and play, and he would play extemporaneously on the piano as like a nine year old, and it was like blowing people's minds. This is in the peak of the classical musical movement. So I'm going to go Mozart, child uh, child Mozart. That's what I want to go. That's so pretentious. Yeah, it is. Right. He lives in a loft. Yeah. I was going to say, <clears throat> I never understood. I, I, I wish, I'll say it this way. Are you getting emotional? A little bit. No, I don't care. Okay. I have no emotional ties to Elvis whatsoever. Mm. Having said that, he was like this huge thing I don't even like when I go back and listen to music, I'm like, okay, whatever. He was a performer. He was a performer, but mm-hmm. to see him in his prime, I would like to also be transported back 60 years yeah. and see the the wild of the crowd. Sure. I think that sure. would be fun. You start sure. shaking his hips. Yeah. I mean, that mm-hmm. would be Forrest Gump taught him that. So. We all know that. Yeah. Well, it's in the movie. Uh-huh. So, I mean, I have Elvis floating out there. And then also like Johnny Cash. Mm. Johnny mm. Cash is dead yeah. officially. Yeah. So they say. But Johnny Cash in his prime, mm-hmm. I want to see it. His grandson. Oh, I saw that, yeah. Way. Yeah. Very Man, good. He sounds just, well, not just, but very close to Very close. Yeah. If we're going to go last hundred years, I would like to see all of the Beatles together playing. That's okay. that's yeah. what I would In pick. their prime. In their prime, yeah. all of the Beatles together. I would say- The Beatles. <laughs> that how it goes? <laughs> sure. I would say <laughs> the Ed Beatles. Sullivan show. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Not Ed Sullivan Beatles. I would say Abbey Road Beatles uh, is what I would pick. Okay. Yeah, that's he what would, I want to see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going Tupac. Tupac. <laughs> Just, I'm not even into rap all that much, but like, I know it was a big deal when he died. And now, especially if you brought him back now, because mm. now there's apparently evidence that Diddy had him killed. Uh, so I'd like to see the beef kind of happen after yeah. the concert. The Illuminati Wars. Yeah. 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 That should right. be the name of his album. Right. The Illuminati Wars. That's a good, that's a good question. Yeah. Preston, do you have an answer? Um, Nirvana. Oh, okay. Kurt Cobain. Yeah, yeah Kurt Cobain. Yeah. It wasn't that good then. No, I don't <laughs> have a gun. Well, that was a lie. But he did. <laughs> Turns out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It smells like Teen Spirit's a great song, though. It is a great, yeah. Yeah. Here we are now. In a tank. Don't get me started, Jason. I oh. feel stupid and contagious. That's good. Sorry. What do you got? Oh, you don't have any more X stuff? No, I didn't ask for S- X oh. tonight. Okay. I just kind of. Normally, lately, I, well, I've Blob been, Boy knows when we record. I've been counting on so that. So he, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Blob Boy and Jerome. So, I'm no, just no, gonna, no, 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 um, no, Jasper, Jasper. Yeah. Keep forgetting. I don't know how to. I don't know how this is going to translate <clears throat> onto the podcast. Okay, but um, here is a map, and I'll just try to explain. <laughs> <laughs> this audio format, Mount Rushmore of maps. I'll try to Dora, Dora's map. Oh yeah, come on, the Risk map. Oh, yeah. The Lord map. of the Rings map. Yeah. Because that's very iconic. Probably some type of Magellan map <laughs> yeah. around the world. He yeah. did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There it is. Uh, this is a map of... Uh, Are we going to go paper, digital, globe? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> globe, paper, digital, and stone. You really going to go globe on me, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> you of all people. It's a hollow earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, this is a map. That I'm looking at, and I'll, I'll show it to you. Is Jason, it a topographical? It's two. No, I love a topographical. Come on, map, I like to feel it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Rocky Mountain. This is oh yeah, um, a different from Appalachia. Mm-hmm. I, I I yeah. So uh, the, Ooh, the, this Himalayas. is two. <laughs> <laughs> This is two maps. I like them rolling hills. The, you know what? A, you brought it up. I, 
<laughs> you like to feel the map. I, I do like to feel the map. I like to pretend I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> and picture what mountains would feel like. Do you ever try to read Braille? Just go, I yeah, wonder if I can. It doesn't work. It's just I can't do it. It's just you know the hack for that. It's just bumps. <laughs> well, underneath that? the Braille, a lot of times there's the words that are written. Oh really? So I look at the Braille and then mm-hmm. you go, oh, this is what it says. Okay, that's that. That's that. Yeah. Do you I, close your eyes when you touch a Braille because it wouldn't always. make a difference? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How often do you do this? Anytime I see Braille. <laughs> <laughs> Every bathroom. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Lady goes to walk out of the bathroom and there's Dan just in front of the door. Ooh, is this the women's? <laughs> um, this is uh, two two uh, maps of the United States. One is 1947. The other is 2023. And this is 1947. Um, you've got... Now, my phone is black and white. So <laughs> I'm just going to say dark gray, <laughs> and light gray, and white. Okay. So dark gray is all the places in 1947 that people referred to it as pop. You're talking soda pop. Well, here's the thing, Jason. Yeah. White is soda and light gray is Coke. Okay. Okay. So in 1947, that's what the map looks like. So it, it looks like on the West Coast, you got Washington, Oregon. It kind of dips down all the way into like Oklahoma, Kansas, and then up and around kind of St. Louis. And then kind of ends in um, Pennsylvania is the pop yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, that's us. Midwest and then West um, is is pop. And then soda, you've got California, L.A., Arizona, and then a little pocket around what what I think is uh, I guess I guess it's around uh, St. Louis. And then soda's on the East Coast too. And then everything in the South, Texas, all, all the way Coke. to Florida is all Coke. Yeah. What about Minnesota? Minnesota is pop. Okay. And uh, so that's 1947. That's when the aliens crashed. Is it? Yeah. Huh. That's Roswell. N- uh, 2023. Okay. Pop is barely holding on. What? Oh. Yeah. Pop's barely holding on. It's like strong it. in the Dakotas and Minnesota okay. still. It's only not even half the top half of Ohio Uh-oh. and in, par- in parts of Michigan. Um, and then soda is like way way bigger than everything else and then coke has shrunk significantly to just down in the dirty old south is what i'm <laughs> the gonna call dirty it. old south and yeah. uh yeah so um that's that's what it looks like you Dude, know that's crazy it is crazy i don't like it and i do feel like i hear more people we're from ohio yeah i do feel like i hear more people saying soda nowadays young people young people yeah. and i think it's the internet that we have to blame yeah. which is also coincidentally where i got this map <laughs> I frequent I'm a, I'm a I'm an internet user on grayscale <laughs> on grayscale <laughs> who knows how great this map could be in color but or if it was topographical I would feel it <laughs> um so yeah there it is I think we should try to make a push to get pop yeah as I'd, the number I'd, one I'd like to see pop back into the what are your feelings if you combine them? I kind of thought pop. that I, I always thought that there was a group of people that called it cola. They just call it mm. cola, but no, according so to the map, no. no. I just I can't call it anything else but sodies now after sodies. That, that video mm. of the two that really might fat take ladies. over all of them. A diet sodi, diet sodies. Yeah. So uh, show of hands, Jason. Okay. Okay. I want everybody to be honest. Okay. Who pees in the shower? Okay. All right. Stella. Stella's abstaining no. from the vote. <laughs> she, she, um, she, <laughs> so here's here's well, um, it's kind of a half raise. It's on her chin. It's like, yeah, mm. like it sometimes. Um, just a little. So bit. so here's a brief history of my peeing in the shower. Um, <laughs> I never did. Mm. I felt like it was wrong, and I think I thought that somehow it would give me some sort of foot disease or something Warts or something. I don't like know. Yeah. And so I was like, you know what? I don't want to risk it. But then at some point. I just said, you know what? I've made it this far in life. <laughs> and it probably what happened, probably what happened is that I just really had to go. Yeah. Didn't go before I got in the shower. And I just was like, all right, I guess this is happening. So I, I peed in the shower. And yeah. then nothing broke. Yeah. I didn't spring forth some sort of wart from my foot. Yeah. Everything seemed to be okay. Didn't tell my wife about it. No. But everything's nothing. Everything's okay. You yeah. know? Yeah. So I'm like, I guess I'll just do this now all the time. So I. So every time you have to pee, you I take, take a, a shower. shower. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's become a bit of a hindrance to many things in life, <laughs> but it's working so far. So no, so so I'm just I'm a so I become a, and I'm not proud of it, Jason. I'm really not. Yeah. But I've become a pee in the shower guy. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now, I um I'm I'm at uh so so here's here's what here's what has happened. I think, I think I've now become conditioned. So I'm at Planet Fitness the other day. <laughs> no. And uh, I work out, as you do, and uh, that day, instead of going home, I took a shower at Planet Fitness so that I could go straight to my appointment or whatever, and I get in the shower, and then all of a sudden, the water hits me, and I feel like I have to pee. So I would think that we would, maybe Jesse excluded, I think that we would all think, maybe you excluded, that it's wrong to pee in the Planet Fitness shower. Yeah, I'm excluded from that. Yeah, you're okay with it. Well, yeah, because I picked the, the shower stall that the drain is not in. Because you don't want to be in the path of the pee. Downstream to, of another yeah. pee. Yeah, yeah, so I'm always You're upstream. just assuming there is... Yeah, because if someone comes in and well, they and have the to pick a shower... Well, the finished showers are individuals, so that's not an issue. Oh, so they have an individual drain? Yeah, each shower has its own, oh, each shower let has it, its own let thing. Let it rip. Let go, man. Yeah. I, I, I didn't, because I felt like it was wrong. Because here's the thing. Here's what I decided, and it was hard uh, to um, not pee in the shower because I'm just so used to it now. But, um, but you I actually held look it. forward to it. I kind of do. I kind of. <laughs> so, um, but I was very convicted in that moment because I don't want another guy to pee in the shower that I'm in. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? No, I get it. But so he is. I just, I know yeah. he is, but I just, I want to live my life that way where I'm doing to others mm. as they, as I would have them do unto me. Yeah. You know? Now, I find it interesting that you brought this up. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't talked, and you're never on Twitter. But uh, about two weeks ago, I posted this poll. Oh. Have you ever peed in the shower? Really? I did. Oh, that's funny. 59 people voted. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, this is a significant what, The question feedback. is exactly the same. I'll read you the choices. Have you ever peed oh. in the shower? Okay. Okay. Here are the choices. Oh. Never. Mm -hmm. Once or twice. Mm -hmm. Every time. Mm -hmm. Or show results. Like people who just want to see what the results are. Oh. They don't want to really vote one way or the other. It's like, what does that mean? Okay. So I'll just tell you, show results got 15%. Mm -hmm. There's 15 out of 100. They don't want to. I don't want to. But I want to so know. So you know that they, they do. do. Yeah, they absolutely yeah. do. Okay. They do. They just don't want to click. Yeah, I You would show. say everybody does. Well, I do. Uh -huh. Every time. But, but you would say the other people are probably lying. No, I think some people once or twice. Okay, is there anonymity in this there, poll? There's five. Yeah, there, it's anonymous. Okay. Uh, five people said never. Five people have never peed in the shower. Yeah, I find that hard to believe. I, First of honestly, all, I think I had never peed in the shower up until... Well, I will say this. I don't know how it works for girls, but for boys... They pee. Girls pee. <laughs> in the shower? <laughs> oh, I just thought you didn't know if they even peed at all. I, they think, I think they probably do pee. Yeah. Uh -huh. But what I'm saying is, um, I think guys in the shower peeing is probably more prevalent than girls i would think so definitely right yes i don't we don't need to get into the particulars but <laughs> no no we don't we don't need to but I, I think there are reasons yeah okay so what's your so what's the next uh, every time was 66 percent. 66 percent every time so mm -hmm. two-thirds of everybody pees in the shower every time yeah. plus the 15 percent that just yeah. don't want to. They, they just want to see the results. So, so if you add that together, that's seventy. That's eighty-one percent. Okay. So eighty-one percent of the dudes upstream from you at Planet mm -hmm. Fitness are peeing in the shower. Well, they're not upstream, but the guy before me. You oh, think? the guy before you. Yeah. He peed in the shower for sure. If ten guys took a shower that day, yeah. eight of them peed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very uncomfortable. And one probably pooped. <laughs> <laughs> that was and me. Then you got to do the waffle stomp. <laughs> 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 Picked a bad week to eat only protein. Oh, my goodness. Get the shower super hot. <laughs> uh, I knew. Then you got poop steam I, coming. Listen, I knew that me. It's been a while since we've done potty humor. We, I, yeah, I, we've I, avoided potty humor. I knew for that me. Yeah. Uh, I knew that, that saying this was going to bring up some unfortunate discussion. Like waffle stomp. Yes, like that. <laughs> such like a good term. I could go. <laughs> such a good term. I, I love can it. credit to where credit is due. That's an Aaron slob. <laughs> oh, That's an AA stomp. run, the waffle stomp. At, at camp, he, he oh. was in the room with my boys at camp, and it was a group shower situation. And uh, there's one drain in the middle of the floor, mm -hmm. and there was a piece of poop on it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, you know, there's a bunch of teenage boys, mm -hmm. you know, sharing a shower, and, and, and there's a piece of poop right mm -hmm. on the drain. Mm -hmm. And Aaron's like, whoever did that is going to need to waffle stomp it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. 
Aaron might be on the show next week. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. See, I, I taught my boys, so a lot of times when the boys come into the bathroom to pee, a lot of times I'm on the toilet pooping. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, hey, just turn on the wait, pop. Stop, 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 wait. Uh-huh. How many bathrooms do you have? One. You just have one bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. And so I'll be in there, and they'll come in, Dad, I have to pee. I'm like, just pee in the shower. Or <laughs> pee off the porch. The porch is my favorite place yeah, to yeah, pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you live out in the country, yeah. too. Yeah. Well. Even, even in town. Even when I was in town. <laughs> And uh, so they pee in the shower, and Maddox, who's seven, knows to turn the hot water on and rinse it down. Yeah. Ollie just got into the habit now where he just sometimes just pees in the shower just because, <laughs> and he doesn't turn the water on. So then I walk out, oh, what? And then I look in the toilet, it's like, oh, the toilet's been flushed. And then I open the shower to get in. I'm like, oh, Ollie, gosh. You need One. to be drinking more water. Yeah, you need it's to like, hydrate. It's like Lord of the Flies over at your place. It's just crazy. <laughs> Never read it, but I. I probably agree. <laughs> it is just a free for all. <laughs> Ollie, it's uh, funny instantly. Ollie, Ollie every time because I'm like Maddox knows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Savannah, I don't think pees in the shower. Yeah, not that and you I'm know like, of. Yeah. yeah, I Ollie was over at our house the other day, and he and had he a, peed in the he shower. <laughs> he, he, probably <laughs> he probably did. He 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 actually he went into our our, our restroom that only has a toilet. So who knows what he did? <laughs> should check the sink. <laughs> um, I've but done that. He was he yeah. was over there, and he had a, a Gatorade uh, that he was he was drinking, and it was one of the ones that's got the the top that's like the I don't know. You turn it, and, you know, and it was like must have been slightly open. He picked it up and he shook it. And he didn't know if anybody was... He didn't know I was watching him. He thought nobody was watching him. And he shook it, and Gatorade just went everywhere. <laughs> and he goes... And he just kind of... He was, eh, you know, he just kind of ran away. It was funny. Didn't tell anybody. And he was like, mm, I don't think anybody saw me. It was Gatorade everywhere. Not my problem. Yeah, <laughs> when, that's him. When we were kids, little kids, um, you were caught trying to pee in both the refrigerator yeah. and the hamper. And the closet. And the closet. Mm-hmm. Turns out Dan was a sleepwalker. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. would mom would catch him yeah. peeing on various items in the house. He had the fridge open. Mm-hmm. His drawers dropped. Mm-hmm. Getting ready to pee in the fridge. She stopped me before that one. Yeah. Thank God. The hamper. The hamper got, I think it got the got brunt. It. I think. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think it, it, the first like two times they didn't know to stop me because it was just confusing. Like, what, what? Are you, what are you doing, Dan? What was? What what, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> so uh, yeah, and then they learned. If Dan's walking, he's got that look in his mm. eye. <laughs> send him, send him to the toilet. <laughs> I used to uh, sleep eat. Oh yeah, uh-huh. yeah. So I used to like That's would terrifying. walk to the fridge and then come back into my room and I'd have wrappers everywhere. Yeah. That's and funny. My parents were like, "What is this?" And I'm like. I don't know. Yeah. Until like it went on for like weeks and then they caught me and then But you were sleepwalking. Yeah. Yeah. I was asleep and then they like they woke me up and I freaked out because you don't wake up somebody sleepwalking. Yeah. Now yeah. Gus would wake up wake up and go eat. Yeah. Like at three in the morning. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say he'd wake up and go pee in the closet. No, no, no. Well that too. <laughs> that too. You know, Gus would pee his bed, but it was really impressive when he did it from across the room. Mm-hmm. Um but uh, Gus would go into the refrigerator and one time we had a frozen pizza in there that was in um like a take and bake type of <laughs> yeah. thing. It was all in plastic. Mm. And he tore through the plastic and ate half the pizza frozen pizza. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. Probably got some plastic in there too. Yeah. He was like a toddler. Like he was out. always doing this. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you doing? I ate frozen hungry. pizza rolls one time when I was drunk in college. They're not good. <laughs> you finished that bag, though. I ate some of them, yeah. <laughs> All right, what else you got? Uh, I don't know. You want to do the Netflix 30 minutes, suggestion I mean, of the yeah. week? I, I got one that you're going to be pretty excited about. Okay. I don't want to overplay my two. hand. But I think you're going to be... I think your eyes are going to get wide, and you're going to go... Ooh. You're going to be very excited about it, because I don't think you know about it. Netflix, Netflix, maybe Hulu Plus. Netflix, Netflix, watch these shows with us. Netflix, Netflix, maybe Hulu Plus. Or maybe Amazon Prime or something Jason. like that, like YouTube. What is it? Give me your Netflix suggestion of the week. (laughs) (laughs) I think that song gets longer. It is. Uh, We still might try to speed it up, but it would require some work. It's a lot of work. So (laughs) I watched two things on Netflix this week. 
brand new, both released, stand-up shows, comedians. Okay. One was Ricky Gervais. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. I can't remember either one. Oh, the the second one, I remember the name of it. Uh, Dave Chappelle. It's called The Dreamer. And uh, they were both excellent. I liked them both a lot. Uh, Ricky Gervais is an atheist, um, like religion, God-hating, whatever. Sure. So that comes out in that. Really? <laughs> Turns out, yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I found it entertaining. Yeah. I think he brings... He's very funny. He's very funny, but he also brings some like, <clears throat> just some common sense to it, mm-hmm. you know, because he's making fun of it. And I think he's an equal opportunity criticizer. Oh, he's going to criticize so. everybody. Mm-hmm. I like that. Let's yeah. just bring everybody down to the same level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Dave Chappelle, uh, his, he leads the show off with a transgender joke, yeah. which is funny because he's gotten in trouble for it recently. Yeah. On Netflix. On Netflix. Uh-huh. And so he moves on from transgender to start making fun of retarded kids. Okay. And so once again, equal opportunity criticizer. Sure. What he's doing is he's like, listen, this is a joke. Yeah. It's a joke. Yeah. And we're not allowed telling jokes anymore. Mm -hmm. So it was an interesting uh, concept. And in The Dreamer, the last story that he told was super inspirational, I thought. And the reality is... Was he smoking during the show? He usually smokes. Well, towards the end of the show, he lit up a cigarette. Yeah. Cigarette. 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 Jazz. Self-rolled. And uh, I liked it a lot. I'm a big Dave Chappelle fan. I think he's great. He lives here in Ohio. We should try to get him on the show. Yellow... What's the name of the town? Yellow Springs? I Something think? like that. Yeah. yeah. Have you driven through Yellow Springs? It's nice. Super woke, but yeah. yeah. It's super nice. What I call my shower peas. <laughs> Yellow Springs. <Yeah. laughs> it's a good callback, Jesse. Yeah, thank you. Good job. <laughs> You're learning. Yeah. Um, okay, Jason, you ready for this? Yeah. You're be pretty excited about I'm this. I'm pretty excited. Okay, so I'm, well, first of all, uh, my Netflix suggestions of the week are going to be weird this month. Um, uh, I'm not going to be watching. Uh, a lot of television this month, so I got to pull some stuff, you know, from different places or old things. But um, I saw this on YouTube, and so I watched just the first few minutes of it, and um, it is the it is a documentary on the 2023 Barkley Marathon. Oh, yeah, hey, I knew you would. Now, be is it about high this. production level? Pretty good. Yeah, okay. it's pretty good. It's not just some dude. With is it like iPhone. the same crew that did it? Do so you know? no, different no. crew. Okay. Um, I've actually seen. So the difference in this one is it is about the whole race, but it really specifically follows one guy, Lazarus. No, oh. is he still there? Yeah, it's his. Yes, race. It's no, his but race. they follow one racer. I got you. So this guy's name is Joe something or other. He has the world record for the Appalachian Trail. Okay. He has the world record, I think, for the Pacific Coast Trail. Yeah. He has the world record for the uh, Arizona Trail, which is 800 miles straight through Arizona. I actually watched a documentary about that. Okay. He ran from, there's a trail that runs through Arizona that goes from Mexico to Utah. Yeah. And uh, he did it in 13 days, Jeez. 800 miles. Like yeah. insanity. This guy is superhuman. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. an alien. He's yeah. weird how he can do what he does. But um, anyway... It follows him, and this is the first time he apparently has applied to be in this race five years in a row, and this is oh, the first time they, accepted him. they yeah. finally accepted him. I mean, he's got a lot of clout. So yeah, and they only allow so many. F- There's only so many people, yeah. and it, even even to be able to, no one even knows. There's no website to submit. It's, right. You, you just got to gotta figure like it out. know a guy or yeah. something. Yeah. So, um, so he gets in the race, and it specifically follows him. And uh, but it does follow the whole race and yeah, kind of yeah. tells the story of the race, but specifically kind of zeroed in. It on helps this to one probably guy. watch the original. Yeah, I think if you if you don't know what the Barkley Marathon is, well, explain it, Jason. So the Barkley Marathon, you're a big fan. I love. Well, first of all, that documentary might be my favorite documentary, and that's saying something because I love. Do- I'm a doc guy. The King of Kong. King of Kong. Is the full best. quarters is that's the best with Billy Mitchell, mm-hmm. Steve Wiebe. <laughs> Listen, it's such a good documentary. <laughs> Those are my top two. Mm-hmm. I mean, those Bark. If you have never seen these, you have to watch them. Yeah, Barkley marathons. They will be both of them. You won't. You will. Whatever you were doing, you're not doing that anymore. No, stop. Because you're going to finish this documentary. You have to. Yeah. And they're not crazy long. Hour no, and a no, half no. each. It's or not like, like that. Civil War by Ken Burns. Yeah, and I'd finish that too. I did. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, Barkley marathons, Tennessee, mm-hmm. 
out in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. They just started kind of on a whim. Yeah. Um, one, it was kind of a bet between two guys. They were having an guys. argument. They were having an argument because um, the guy that was he, did he shoot Reagan? He, Maybe. That, some guy tried Somebody. to assassinate someone. He went to prison. Mm-hmm. What was the name of that prison? B- Brushy, Bushy Hills. Bushy. Mm, sure. Something like that. I don't remember. And there was this, he escaped from prison and there was a massive search for him. And so at this time, they were saying, you know, how far could you get in five days? Yeah, he had five days. Like, how far could somebody get? And they, they didn't find him for five so days. So one dude's like, well, I think I could go five, you know, I could go 100 miles in five days. Like, right. you're it's crazy. Not you in this area, yeah. you couldn't, you know? And yeah. so that was the original bet. Mm-hmm. So they made the race 100 miles, mm-hmm. five days. Mm-hmm. It's a consecutive race. In the hills in Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee, yeah. This is not some flatland they, so what they do race. is they don't stop the race. There's a course and it's mm-hmm. off trail. It's mm-hmm. I think they said a third of it is on trail and two thirds is, is off and trail. And you might decide at some point you want to go off trail even if there is a trail because you might cut straight to where you're going. It doesn't matter how you get from point to point, just that you get from point to point. Right. There's something like 20 points along the way. Yeah. At each point, there's a book. Mm -hmm. You're assigned a number. Mm -hmm. If you're number 32, you have to go to each book and rip out page number 32 to Mm -hmm. prove that you made it to that point. Yeah. So there is some, uh, I don't know, legitimacy if you do come back with all these pages. You made it to all these points. Because he doesn't, you can't cheat. You don't know what the books are going to be beforehand. Yeah, yeah, It's just this one dude that does the race. He's like responsible for all of it. This guy... At first, you think he's super dumb. Mm-hmm. He's like the smartest man in America. And so the last time, as of the documentary, I didn't finish it, so I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. But at the the last time someone finished the race, because this race is so hard, people don't finish it. For I the first tw- like 15 years, nobody finished I it. I think in the history of the race, 25 or something Some, like that. Uh, that last documentary is like 25. Yeah, 25 people has finished it. The last time someone finished the race was 2017. Really? Okay. Wow. So this is 2023. Yeah, I don't know if someone's going to finish it or not. And but. they change the race a little bit each year. Oh, yeah. The trail and where it's going, and and so that it doesn't give anybody. And an I get unfair the sense advantage. that he's in a place now. He's just making it way harder than it even I'm ever sure. was. Yeah, and it's a crazy terrain, mm-hmm. crazy terrain. And, and the weather, they said, even within a five day period or something, you you might it might be really hot and then really cold. This race was like under thirty two degrees most of the right. time, so the guys are freezing cold. And, and so the race is consecutive time. Yeah, you have basically five days mm-hmm. to run five loops, mm-hmm. and each loop is twenty miles. Yeah, well, they said it says it's twenty miles, but it they changes. say it's actually about a marathon. Yeah, so it's about five marathons in so a row, one hundred and twenty-five miles. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's and and so if you come back after doing loop one, mm-hmm. you could choose to grab a bite to eat. You could take a nap. You could grab some food. They said the elevation climb is Mount Everest. Like the total when it's all said and done. When it's all said and done. Yeah, it's wild. Mm-hmm. Uh, Barkley Marathons is top one or two documentaries mm-hmm. of all. So time. this is a this is a specific documentary. It's like uh, maybe ninety minutes on YouTube. On YouTube, yeah. it is professional. Yeah. Be done. It's it's good, and uh, it's about the 2023 race. Okay, I'm all in of the Barkley Marathon. So <laughs> we'll you'll have watch to, it tonight. Yeah, you have to go look it up. Yeah. So anyway, that's my Netflix suggestion of the week. You got one, Jess? Yeah, yeah, I do. So this is it is rated M for mature. Of so course. don't watch it with someone that's not mature. Uh, there's no nudity in it or anything like that. It's just language and some suggestive themes. But if you like Super Troopers, the movie, you'll like this. It's on Netflix called Tacoma FD, and it follows a Tacoma firefighter, you know, troop. And it's got a lot of the guys from Super Troopers in it. And uh, it is just, it's stupid comedy, stupid humor. But it, it's like basically, like I said, if you like Super Troopers, you'll like Tacoma FD. It's a movie. No, it's a, it's a series. It's a series. Yep. There's right now. There's four seasons on Netflix. Uh-huh. So I don't. And I don't know when they started, when they end. Yeah. You know. But so it's pretty funny. If you like dumb humor, it's it's pretty good. Like I said, there's some areas yeah, in if it. If you're listening to Loud Road Radio, you like a sophisticated yeah, listen, brand I'm of humor. I'm pandering to our audience here. <laughs> oh. I typically watch very sophisticated things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. It checks out. What is sophisticated yeah. humor? What's the most sophisticated? I don't even know. Is that even could? Is that even possible? Can I just tell you, I'm pretty upset. Yeah. Next, you know I'm pretty upset. You're always kind of next upset. weekend. Yeah, borderline. Next weekend, Shelby's going to see Nate Bargatze. Oh yeah, you told without us about me. That. Yeah, I'm pretty upset about that. Leave me yeah. with the kids. Mm-hmm. She's going to see Nate. That's the worst part about yeah. it. Yeah. You <laughs> should show up with the kids to see Nate. <laughs> you should. Oh, look. <laughs> okay, Preston, do you got something? <laughs> um. 
Finn has been into Kung Fu Panda, so I've been watching uh-huh. a lot of Kung Fu Panda. Mm-hmm. How do you say that? Kung Fu Panda. He said Panda. Kung Fu. Yeah, yeah, yeah say Kong. it again. Yes, it's Kung. Kung. Yeah. Kung. Say it. Kung. Kung. Let's be yeah, careful. Like Kong. Let's be I careful. Know what I said. Yeah. Kong. <laughs> Kong. Donkey Kong. Yeah. King Kong. King of Kong. King of Kong. Fistful of quarters. There it is. Call back. Teddy oh. loves Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, Kung Fu Panda is great. They're, they're getting I ready to Jack release Black. the fourth one. Yeah, yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. So pretty excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the first the first Kung Fu Panda is great. It is great. Yeah. The Dustin rest of Hoffman. Them, yeah. yeah. Is great. Is the he other still ones. With us? <laughs> think so lucy yeah. Liu, dustin hoffman i think angelina jolie is one. Oh, of them. maybe i'm getting her oh, lucy Liu's one of them oh is she okay yeah, she's the snake oh yeah I angelina jolie is the tiger maybe Something i don't care like i've lost interest in this what what, what else we got i got stuff <laughs> i was at costco let me, let me, the other day you pulled my list and the lady at costco told me well i go to pay uh and for some reason I'm by myself. God only knows why I'm by myself at how Costco. How did that happen? I don't know how that happened. But I am by myself. And I realized that somehow there was a snafu. And I got Erica's Costco card. And oh, she must have mine. Yeah. So I was like, listen, this is my wife. It's We switched cards. Yeah. And they're like, sorry. Can't, that happened to you. Can't do it. And I was like, "I well, come on, guy. Like, it's obviously. Yeah. And he's like, sorry, you got to go to the desk. You got to give him their information. You can get a temporary card and that uh. sort of thing. And the lady at Costco uh, at the thing, she was telling me about it. And she's like, well, you know, we've really been cracking down on, uh, she's like, I'm sure you saw it on the news. <laughs> 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 That's what she said. I was like, mm. why, don't you, why don't you tell me about and it? I was like, I was like, oh, well. Which is true. I said, well, I don't really watch the news. I I did find it hard to believe that the news tonight, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Costco's cracking down on membership sharing. Um, but she's like, she the way she said it, she's like, I'm sure you've seen it in the news. And I was like, well, I don't really watch the news. Yeah. So, And then she comes back with, a, well, I don't watch the news either. Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm like, no, you do watch the news. Well, yeah, at least like, once. You just said you did. <laughs> I think you're just saying that because yeah. I said I don't watch the news. Yeah. And you, you want to- I or you s- thought it. I, Jason, who are you talking to? I <laughs> you thought, thought it. it. <laughs> I, I would say it. Say it. <laughs> you would say it. You Wait would say a second. It. I'm calling you out. But I just, you know, the dual thing, first of all, hilarious that it's on the news and that they're cracking down on Costco memberships, which I don't believe. Costco and Netflix cracking down on well, memberships. Well, I just think there's a lot of people are getting a little bit more liberal with their... Uh, like my Panera subscription. Their sharing yeah. of, of, of subscriptions. Like yeah. my HBO subscription, I share it with Preston. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I was at Panera right before I came I let here. him yeah, yeah, set up all the profiles. Yeah. I let him take care of the mm-hmm. account information, yeah. the updating, yeah, that yeah. sort of thing. They uh-huh. don't really care about my Cinemax subscription. I share that with pretty much everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I do like how no one has yet to make their own profile and just continues to use mine. I've, yeah, no, I'm <laughs> sure... <laughs> Erica, I pull it up because there are a couple of shows at HBO that we like. There's that home show in particular. And I pull up HBO. She's like, which profile do we use? Just the guest? I'm like, no, I use Preston. <laughs> <laughs> I go out there all the time. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Messing up your algorithm. Listen, y'all have really messed up my Cinemax <laughs> algorithm too. All right. Okay. Yeah. So I was at Panera Sorry. right before uh, coming uh-huh. to the show. And uh, I went over to get my drink. I'm at the fountain get my ginger ale as you do as i do i gotta drink this in the evening mm-hmm. lemonade late at night not good for me sure a lot of caffeine mm-hmm. not good for you anytime no it's good way. in the morning that charge it really lemonade. gets me going that charged lemonade <laughs> there's so gonna I'm, be so many lawsuits in the future about charged lemonade there already is <laughs> like right now <laughs> okay, people are well, dying yeah so i'm, I'm getting my is that uh, in the news yeah mm-hmm. i'm sure you've seen i it. don't really watch the news <laughs> i don't either oh just, okay I'm, I'm getting my drink and I hear this guy, probably, I don't know, 20, 21, 22, something like that. And I hear him get out his phone and he goes, hey, Grandma, how you doing? And she's like, I could kind of hear a little bit. Mm-hmm. And he goes, hey, um, I'm at Panera. Mm-hmm. And, I, right, 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 right. and he goes, um, when's the last time you were at Panera? <laughs> <laughs> and I, right, right, right. he goes, so that was more than two hours ago? <laughs> <laughs> 
And rah, rah, rah. he's like, is it okay if I use your subscri- subscription? He called it, can I use your sippy cup? <laughs> That's he, what he said, said that? That's what he said. <laughs> he didn't know what it was. Yeah. And rah, 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 rah. He goes, okay, thanks, Grandma. Bye. Love you. Was he talking to the Pete? Teacher at pe- on peanuts. <laughs> well, that's what I could hear. I was having hard. <laughs> I, was tr- <laughs> I was trying my hardest to listen to yeah. both. Mm-hmm. I, but he was on. It wasn't a speakerphone. That's so I only funny. heard one side of it, and so it was funny. What time do you normally go in the mornings? Don't worry about it. Like what time are you going tomorrow? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going tomorrow randomly. Okay. Yeah, well, whenever you might be disappointed tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they know me. My, half the t- half the time they don't even type in my, my number. Kids they just dis- give me the cup. My kids For discovered they sh- they shouldn't do that. They're not allowed. Uh, <laughs> my Hannah, kids have Hannah discovered does. Hannah, Hannah will. She's yeah. nice. My kids have discovered that if two if you can order simultaneously, uh-huh. <laughs> like at two registers at yeah. the same Ready, time, set, go. <laughs> do it. <laughs> that you can get one membership through. Yeah, you know. I don't know if after that you have to wait for four hours. <laughs> I think it's like swimming. But, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's funny. It is funny. Okay, so if you have a plate of food, All right. let's say you have a burger, burger, fries, and a Coke. Nothing wrong with that. Right. All-American meal. Mm-hmm. What, is the, what is the order that you're eating oh, these in? Okay. Now, listen. Mm-hmm. This is critical. Mm-hmm. I had McDonald's for the first time in like five years. Yeah. Just a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. Diarrhea? <laughs> no waffle stomp there. <laughs> no. <laughs> just the Hershey slide. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. So uh, I have to eat the fries first huh. because McDonald's cold, fries. Because they get cold. They get cold and mm-hmm. they're gross uh-huh. when they're cold. McDonald's yeah. fries hot. So let's just assume this is a quality. I went like a, to Thur- I went to Son of Thurman's the other day. Okay, that's pretty good. I love Son of Thurman's. Yeah. Their fries are good. Mm. Man, their fries are good. Yeah. So let's just say it's quality, not McDonald's. Not McDonald's. Okay. All right. Burger fries and a burger Coke? fries and a Coke. I get it. I'm gonna eat five fries and a bite of my sandwich. Maybe then I'll eat about twenty percent of my sandwich. And then I'll eat like maybe another twenty percent of the fries, sandwich fries, sandwich fries, while I'm drinking the Coke. You so know, you're I like never, an even. Yeah, I'm. Eater. I'm going to distribute it out. My, I want the last bite to be the, the burger. Burger. That's what I want my last bite to With be. With some Coke left. Yeah, a little bit of Coke in the bottom. Yeah. It's been years since I've had a Coke, but let's just say, yeah. Yeah, um, and yeah the last thing I do is drink the Coke, but uh, f- finish it off. But yeah, I'm. I. I, I like to bounce around. I'm not going to finish the one thing at a so time. So a, a fine establishment like that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have two or three fries right off the bat because mm-hmm. they taste fabulous. Oh, man, I want those fries. I'm going to so eat bad. the whole burger. Oh, really? They then didn't. I will finish my fries because oh. there have been times, yeah. believe it or not, I'm not hungry anymore. Hmm. After I eat the burger, I get halfway through the fries. Hmm. I'm going to throw away the potatoes rather than throw away the rest of that burger. I hear you. Uh, I'm so, not throwing away any of it. I'm <sighs> confident in my ability to eat everything. Mm-hmm. You know, the older I get, the harder it gets. Yeah. I used to be able to eat everything. Less often. I've been eating basically one meal a day. But twice as much. During that meal, <laughs> <laughs> no, but what it does mean is like I went to Son of Thurman's and I was pretty confident, like, yeah, I'll take the, uh, I'll take the, the whatever. And, the triple cheeseburger. Yeah. And I'm going to be just fine. Yeah. I didn't get a bun though, but I ate like a pound of fries. So I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> See, I always, I always like to end. I'm kind of like opposite of you, Dan. Uh, now I'll eat fries first, a mm-hmm. couple fries, handful maybe, and then I'll just inhale the burger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, if I'm eating with someone, they're normally not even started. Yeah. yeah. So then I got a little <laughs> bit of time to sit and kind of dip my fries and catch up. Okay. You know, and I like to end with taking the last couple fries and like just rubbing them all over the plate mm. to get the burger juice, to get the rest of the ketchup, sure. any little morsel yeah. that I've missed, I, uh, and I finish with that. I hate ketchup. I hate I'm ketchup. I'm not a big ketchup guy either. I mean, I'll just, I'll, I'll eat them plain. I'll eat them with whatever, but, <laughs> you know. But now if we're at McDonald's, I always. Use ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really use ketchup, but yeah, but ketchup. if I'm at McDonald's or somewhere, it's fries last because then you can just empty the fry container uh, into your yeah. mouth. And that's just a good way to end the meal. Like That's the notification to my body. It's done. Yeah. That's it. Preston. I'll I'll try a fry first to see if it's good because some places fries are that awful. is true. So I'll try one and if it's good, I'll eat two or three, and I just destroy the burger. And mm. then after that, I'll mm. just like eat some fries. I like and to go. I'm, I'm definitely going. Back I, and I don't like that. Time. No, wow. even even like Thanksgiving, if I got like eight different things on my plate, I eat all of one thing. 
uh-huh. all of something else, yeah. all of something else, and I go worst to first. Mm. I save on Thanksgiving. I save sure. the best for last. Stuffing. The stuffing. Come That's on. Well, like I start and I end with the stuffing. Oh, it's, it's the, the alpha, alpha and the omega. omega. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've once been like, man, I could just go for some good stuffing. St- I, I love stuffing. You I love take stuffing. stuffing. Not the stovetop the... crap. That's not stuffing. I always, I always loved, loved that. stuffing. Oh, I love stuffing. Jesse, so much. do you have a strong opinion? Nope. I'm protesting until I get my song on the on the board. Oh, okay. It requires a little I bit know. of work. I know. I know. We're working on it. We've, if you want me to put in work, we've contacted work the um, Association for Podcasting, and we're waiting. It's pending approval. Yeah. Okay. So there's a board approval process. Mm-hmm. It's complicated. It consists. The board consists of Joe Rogan, Boy Blob, and C- Chris. Uh, what's his name? Chris. Chris. What's Kringles, the guy yeah. from Nerdist? That was a oh, big Chris, podcast. Um, Hardwick. Yeah, it's Chris Hardwick, yeah. Joe Rogan, and, and Blob Boy. Blob Boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, when that's figured out, have your people contact my people. Okay. okay. We'll, All right. we'll get that. That's that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Um, so I've we're done, right? Basically. <laughs> <laughs> I got some more stuff. I don't know if we're at time. I was waiting for oh, the sound of my ears. A minute and 30 Stella, seconds. do you have that going? It's Jason's not so subtle way of telling Stella to play the music. Did you hit it? Yeah. It's oh, there I it is. It. Okay. Yeah. I didn't hear it. My ears are messed is up. Is that a new shirt? Yeah, I got it for Christmas. I could tell. Yeah. Is there still a tag on it? No. <laughs> it just <laughs> yes. It doesn't stink be. as much as your normal clothes uh, do. That yeah. checks out too. Teddy asked me a question. Uh-huh. Man, I don't know if I should save this or roll with it. Maybe we I'll use it, it as a teaser. Maybe you ask the question and we'll give no, our answer. No, I give it time. away. Okay. Time to think about it. Yeah. Would you rather be we're watching I won't answer. Okay. We're watching Star Wars. Uh-huh. He says, Would you rather be a Jedi or Captain America? Okay. Think about it. I will think about it. I'm going to pray on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dan signing off for Jason, reminding you to always keep your stick on the ice and never wear the blue sweats. Sit, baby, sit. Good dog. I have spoken. Good night, Lower Patch Kids, and especially you, Mama Jules, mother of Jules. <laughs> <laughs> the Canadian the singer? Ca- Probably. Yeah. And that's Jewel. No, this is Jules. Does if Jules have bad teeth like Jewel does? I don't know. Listen, if Jewel, Jewel if Jewel had good teeth, I mean, she's pretty hot. Is it Jewel spelled like the the e cigarette? J U U L? No, no. Jewel. It's J U L E S. She's also happens to be the queen of the pet heads. Pat. Uh huh. Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee. Hmm. Yeah. Great podcaster. Isn't he no longer with us, Pat McAfee? No, he's with us. Who's yeah. Pat McAfee? Harrison a, watches the show. He's a kicker. He used to be a punter f- and a kicker. He's for the actually Colts very funny. And Patriots. Yeah. And, oh, who am I thinking of? Pat. Who's the guy Say that Jack? Who's the guy that died? Pat. Say Jack is with us. Who's the guy that died? Pat? Uh, Pat Summerall. No, no, no. He died like in war. <laughs> he was like a football player. Pat and he like, Pat, Til- Pat, Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman. Yeah, that's who I was thinking. Yeah, he's no yeah. longer. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll save it. Okay. Okay, no, listen, I'll do it really quick. Are we still recording? Okay, don't (laughs) stop any of the stuff. Listen, Uh we got a special offer offer for you, for everybody who listens. So if you've made it this far, Mm -hmm. you are a valued listener of Lower Road Radio. verified Lower Patch Kid. (laughs) Yeah. You're probably a subscriber to my mole page. Yeah. Onlymoles.com. Onlymoles.com, where I just take up close-up shots of my mole. So, Moly fans. <laughs> Moly <laughs> fans. <laughs> so listen, there is a cash app that's associated with Lower Road Radio, and the colonel said that uh, he's willing to bring $2,000. Not $2,000. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? $200 to the table. <laughs> he just... He just lost his. Mind. I know. He just he just spit up his beer, <laughs> swallowed his cigarette. <laughs> okay, well, let's just say it. Let's just say it. Let's just say it. Let's just say it. Okay, because I've already said it. Uh-huh. He's willing to match up to two thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> on if anybody anybody who wants, sends a cash app in the to, next month. Yeah, in the month of January. In the month of January, up to two thousand dollars, he'll match it. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. 